So here we are at the Galaxy 360. We just saw this incredible movie. So first, tell us your name. My name is Laura Medina of the Air Vista. I'm a journalist, writer, blogger, video blogger. And I write about how pop culture affects all of society. So tell me, what was the biggest takeaway from the movie for you? I like how the gender roles are switch around and there's like a gender role reversal and how we how this filmmaker applied traditional female aspect onto the male body and all of a sudden guys had to live up to that standard and I can't help but laugh throughout the whole film to see how freaking ridiculous it is you know you play from on um, from a woman which is really traditional onto a guy and you realize how stupid it is and after all in the end yeah, yeah. No, it was really powerful, I thought. Oh, I mean, it's deeper than it appears. And I like how she took something that's something very bitter and made it entirely funny. It's almost, almost, it's almost like a, if Mel Brooks did a gender reveal movie, this would be it. And how he just flipped the script, literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time. Where could we find information about you? Well, um... Are you on Instagram or social media? Well, um, you can look me up, uh, Laura Medina. I believe 3753 on Instagram, at Laura Medina, 3753. It was done on the, down on the spot. That's the way it is. But you can follow me there, and hopefully you can check me out at the Air Vista. Uh, Air Vista, A-R-I-V-I-S-T-E. I know it ain't much, but it's something. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you. So here we are with Pablo. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you. I'm uh, happy to be here at the premiere of this beautiful movie. Yeah, I'm, yeah. we're really excited. It looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yes, uh, the fun in uh, comedy like this type of movies is what we need nowadays, I think. <laughs> yeah, especially nowadays. So some exciting news. You're up for a Grammy? Uh, well, yeah, we. Uh, I participated actually in a, in a uh, production for children's production which uh, turned out to be nominated, so I'm uh, therefore nominated. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fun to be nominated, yeah. Oh, that's really exciting. Oh my gosh. And what other, you're working on a lot of different projects as well? Uh, we're working on several projects with my wife. Uh, we're releasing a, um, a, a, a vocal lessons on the internet that is very exciting. Uh, we're gonna do next year, um, we're working on two um, uh, productions for uh, music for movies. Wow. We're doing the main thing for one movie and the whole uh, soundtrack for the other movie. And uh, my wife is also releasing another uh, ethnic album, which is going to be fun also. Uh, that's that's f as far as we have right oh, now. <laughs> well, I'm already tired just listening to you. So that's wonderful. So where can we find you on social media? Uh, Pablo Aguirre. Uh, 62. Oh. That's that's my. That's your. That's, that's your my handle. my handle. On, yeah. are, are you on uh, Facebook, Instagram? Facebook and Instagram. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Actually, my wife uh, handles that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Hi, Paulina. Hi. So, so good to see you. Nice to see you too. So here we are at this Galaxy 360 premiere just before the movie. We're so excited. And um, tell me about your eco project. Well, first of all, I'm super happy to be here. I, I know that it's uh, going to be a great movie and I think uh, we'll have a lot of uh, expectancy for it. Um, so well, I am bringing this project called uh, La Tierra Llora, uh, The Earth Weeps. So it's very connected to everything that is happening, climate change and everything that we are suffering now as human beings. We have to be more uh, conscious about water, about humanity, about everything that is going on you know, in the world. and. Uh, Sometimes uh, the response is not just to put a little band-aid, but to really be able to really connect as people and not forget. I think uh, using masks at this time, you know, with COVID in the world, is something that is uh, somehow a test for us to see how much we still can love, how much we still can connect. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And this project, is it also, are, is music involved as well? Yes, it's a music project um, and we have worked with some of the world's best instrumentalists, ethnic, uh, you know, instrumentalists, if you want to say. We have in uh, uh, Pedro Sache, who is um, 
the main musician or uh, for the passion of Mel Gibson, uh, Games of Thrones, you know, for the tour. He's, uh, he's in all the record and we have several, several other incredible people. I mean, Walter Rodriguez, he was with Yanni and, uh, you know, on, on percussions. It's just like very unique. But somehow we want to connect with the roots because if we don't connect with the roots, which is actually, you know, the earth and that's the name of the album, we are, you know, not really be going to be able to connect to what the problem is yeah. and um, and we have to go back to the root whatever is the root of our, not just of our where we're born but what the, the root of the problem and there and the resource also the root of love yeah. oh I love that so tell us where we can find you on social media uh, I am on Instagram YouTube and Facebook as Paulina Aguirre music Oh, wonderful. Our, uh, we saw the movie Galaxy 360, so first, tell us your name. Hello, my name is Dustin Quick. And Dustin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, so I'm an actor, and I, I model. And so this particular film uh, really hit home because I actually uh, worked part of my way through college by getting scholarships for the Miss America pageant, which is actually a good pageant because it literally is for scholarships. Uh, and But there, there, is a, there is a funny um, divide between that and Miss USA because uh, that one you have to pay and it's more about the swimsuit competition. And so it was very interesting to see this, you know, uh, being shown that, wow, it is bizarre that we are literally judging people's bodies. <laughs> And, uh, and and the proportion of like swimsuit was literally more like talent. There is no talent in the Miss USA pageant. There is one in the Miss America. So it was just, it was funny that she was really able to um, tap into this, this kind of, you know, it's a hypocrisy that we, we tend to overvalue looks uh, over talent and voice and, uh, and, and, you know, intelligence and education. So I really thought she, she hit the nail on the head as far as like just calling out what really is kind of pretty obvious. We should have known it this whole time, but, it, but she did it in a funny way and she made us laugh. And uh, I think everybody becomes smarter because of that. Yeah, I thought it was very powerful. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the Vic Victor's Angels, I mean, you know, who doesn't love the Victoria's Secret, you know, runway show? That was great. But, it, you know, it is very similar to, like, just these beautiful bodies walking down this, like, stadium runway. And while it's great to celebrate femininity, maybe we are sending not the best message to young girls and you know, especially with Instagram and and putting these impossible images and and uh, impossible uh, and actually not even correct goals really is what it's about I think you know maybe just kind of finding your inner power and making that uh, more part of your self-worth versus just the exterior and hopefully this will maybe make men think a little bit if they yeah, see it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, it, 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 that, that, that's where the, you know, uh, the, the comedy uh, is because there is truth there. You know, it was funny because like, oh, that would be absurd if that was the case. But that's actually how it is for us women <laughs> all the time. You know, it's, uh, we wouldn't have laughed if it wasn't true. Very, very, very true. So where can we find you on Instagram or social media? At Dustin Quick, uh, both on Instagram and Facebook, and at Dustin Quick Femme for Twitter. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and I know you're an amazing actress, so I hope some of your projects take off. It's great. Yes, yes. Uh, both uh, my husband, who's a musician, Medi M, and myself are in a movie that we each have our own scenes, and it stars Bruce Willis. So um, that... We will be excited when that comes out. We'll tell you all about it. But in the meantime, we're really excited about helping support other people's films. So here we are with Richie Rich, Hello. right? Yes, darling. How are you? Great. So tell us how you got your name. Oh, in kindergarten, like I was five years old. My friends all called me Richie Rich. They thought I looked like the cartoon. Then later in life, I moved to New York City, became known as a club kid, part of that gang. And it's like kind of like Gypsy Lee Rose, what's your club name? Richie Rich, and it stuck. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So tell us about Beauty Queen. Uh, Beauty Queen's gonna be fun. I'm doing it with Larry Namer that he had just mentioned. Um, our friend Mr. D, who I've known for years, um, we met in New York uh, during Fashion Week at a line uh, called Heatherette, and he was working for the Versace family, and he had launched NARS Cosmetics, and um, so yeah, like down the road, we decided to do something together, and it's Beauty Queen, and it's basically a platform for just 
everybody around the world to come together that loves fashion, music, pop culture, um, and we're just just the pink community, the every type of community, the LGBTQ, uh, straight, gay, anybody like is welcome. Like it's 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 very it's very clear, like the color clear. <laughs> Love that. So tell us where we can find you on social media. Um, Instagram is really Richie Rich, and you can next week we're launched with Beauty Queen. It's btykwn.com. Beauty Queen. Boom. Very exciting. Btykwn. I should spell it right. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. And we're here to see Galaxy 360. Yes. The outfits I hear are amazing. So oh my can, gosh! I know. I mean, and the star. I mean, she's fabulous. And like, I mean, what a what a an amazing accomplishment, right? Direct and star in it. And oh my gosh! And and any world that's pink and purple, I can't wait. So, yeah, so wonderful. Excited. Well, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Hi, Larry Namer. How are you? All good. All good. It's fun to be here. Yeah, we're excited about this Galaxy 360 premiere. Yeah, it's it's great. I mean, I, I was really looking forward to this and getting out and, you know, uh, seeing people again. I know. Very exciting. So tell us a little bit. I heard you have a new project called Film Capital I.O. I.O., yeah. It's, um, uh, I've been working with um, a young filmmaker, um, business guy, uh, actually from Turkey. And... Um, we we're got this company where the purpose of it is to provide a financing vehicle for independent filmmakers. Because most of them they have great creative ideas, but executing them and getting the finance from is not easy. Yeah. So this is meant to be able to provide a financing vehicle for young independent filmmakers. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Oh, great. So where do pe where do people find you? Uh, Filmcapital.io. It's on the internet, oh, and wonderful. it's a platform. <clears throat> it's actually approved by the Security Exchange Commission, so it's like you know where the money's going, and you know the government is watching that every penny is accounted for and spent well, and so we think it really does provide this new investment vehicle for not just accredited investors, because used to be to invest in the movie, you had to be accredited, which meant you had to have a net worth of a million dollars or more, not including your house, which pretty much eliminated most young fans and moviegoers. So now with the uh, Jobs Act that was done in 2016 by Obama, it's kind of opened up equity crowdfunding so that people can actually invest, they don't have to be accredited, and they actually get ownership in the property. Oh, that is wonderful. Yeah. That is such a great service you're providing. Yeah, it's really cool. It's cool. Yeah, it's fun. Wonderful. And you have another thing called Beauty Queen. Beauty Queen, yeah. With Richie Rich, um, uh, Richie, um, Mr. D, and I are doing this new thing called Beauty Queen. And the way I describe it, it may be a little bit different than you know the way Richie and Mr. D do, but it's basically a communications and content platform for the LBGQ inclined community. Um, a, a place where people can go and find people that they feel comfortable talking to. I call it the modern day Mickey Mouse Club. When I used to go home as a kid, um, I didn't really know what was going to be on the Mickey Mouse Club, but I knew I loved spending time with those people. Well, that's what we think we've assembled here. We've assembled a group from all over the world that we just think people are going to have fun spending time with, like Richie. Oh, that is wonderful. Boy, two really great projects that are needed and yeah. really helping people. I love that, Larry. Well, COVID has given me a chance to like rethink a lot of things. So. Right. Um, can people find you on social media, Larry? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm on Facebook, Larry Namer, and... Uh, Facebook is actually the one I, I do myself. Uh, most of it is my cooking, but then, then there's Instagrams and other stuff. But quite honestly, I don't do those. They're done by the office. Okay, so here we are at the Galaxy 360 premiere, and please tell us your name. Hi, my name is Golsa Sarabi. Oh, great. And tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm an actor and producer, and I'm working on a new project right now. It's my first feature, so I'm very excited about it. <laughs> oh, tell us about it. Um, it's called Maya, and it's based on some true events um, which happened like about 30 years ago in Iran, but it's, but it's an American-Iranian movie, so um, it's, it's, it's a CIA agent which is working undercover. <laughs> oh, that's really exciting. I know. So, um, so you're producing it and writing it and, and acting in it, all, all, all of the above? And kind of. We started to work on this story with my director about a year ago, and then um, I 
hired my writer, so he's working on the script right now. And I'm one of the producers, but I've been very blessed to have other co-producers on board which are uh, participating in the whole project as well. So. And I'll be Maya. <laughs> well, that's really exciting. I know. That's wonderful. It is. Um, yeah, especially right now, I think we need all these representations. Um, yeah, I believe so. And it's going to be a very effective, um, inspirational movie because um, it's it's very close to my heart and about the events that happened, you know, and for innocent people that got killed by the government. So, but it's a very um, drama family oriented, you know, type of a story. So, um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Well, please invite us to that red carpet so we can interview you there and find and see the movie when it's ready. Absolutely. And um, where are you on social media? Where can people find you? Are you on Instagram, Facebook? I am. Um, Instagram is Golsa Sarabi. Facebook is Golsa Sarabi Official. And Twitter is Golsa Sarabi. So it's easy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know the movie, people are starting to come in and everything. So um, I hope to talk to you soon. Maybe we'll get your opinion of the movie after. Thank you so much. It was very nice meeting you. I'm so happy and excited to be here. And I love meeting new people and, you know, um, watching the movies. <laughs> I think this will be a really fun one. So here we are at this Galaxy 360 premiere and we're so excited to have you. So give us your name. Thanks. Uh, my, my name is Vincent Guedov and I'm a French pastry chef. Wow, very exciting. And you brought us some amazing gift today. Yes. So those are uh, French macarons and uh, I'm doing uh, in uh, downtown Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. And how did you get started with that? Oh, um, so I've been a savory chef for like over 10 years, but I transitioned like f about five years ago in pastry. And uh, so when I arrived in, um, in Los Angeles, I started to work in Botte Galloway where I was working in, uh, in, my, in my shop, uh, Bijou Macarons. That's wonderful. Well, we're so excited. Thanks. And so how do people um, order these amazing macarons? So they are they're online. Uh, so it's an uh, online platform. So people yeah, order and we are specializing in shipping and delivery in Los Angeles. Oh. Yeah. And what's the website so they can, they know it, how do they get there? Yes. So they can order in bijoumax.com and, uh, and that's it. Everything is very simple. So they order and the next day it's being shipped or delivered. And do you have an Instagram that people uh, can follow or yes. social media? Yes, at, at Bijou Max. Oh. Or, yeah, Bijou Macarons. So on, on Facebook and Instagram as well. Well, thank you so much. We know you're really you. busy. Yeah. You have a lot of orders, so thank you for taking the time. Thank you so much. So here we are with Steve Owens. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I come from, originally from the music background. I have 43 Golden Platinums from the music business from Michael Jackson, Springsteen. Lana Ritchie, I've been a manager in Los Angeles for many years and uh, produced television and feature films and have right now uh, four features in development. The biggest one is we're doing uh, the story of Cecil DeMille, uh, which is a, a very big budget on that and I'm excited about that uh, with Gabrielle Evans um, is one of the co-producers on it. We've got some major uh, directors that are looking at it because he is the one who started Paramount Studio. Um, so excited about that and you know Golsa is one of my clients who you just met and excited about her movie that she's got going and she just did a great commercial and and then I have clients um, that are working in Europe as well as uh, here in the United States so things have been really good even though the pandemic slowed things down so. Right well that's so good to hear that everything's going well especially during the pandemic and very exciting project. That is a great project. I can hardly wait for that, uh, you know. No, I'm, I'm very excited. And we're also my business partner from London. We're, we're about to launch a new record label and a film studio uh, in Nashville with offices here in Los Angeles. So it's called Mesmerizing uh, Media. And uh, so things are going to be very bright for us in, in 2022. So. Oh, really exciting. So they'll be able to find you on uh, mesmerizing.com. Uh, the, the website hasn't launched on it yet, so we're still assembling the team and the team that's uh, coming forth have been major players within the industry, former presidents of studios and record labels, so it's, it's going to be a, a great team that's, that's put together on it and, and we've got you know, some great artists that uh, um, under NDA I can't talk about, so <laughs> <laughs> the, the three letter word, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we're, it's, 
It's going to be a real venture because uh, everything that I've done in my career has kind of led to this point from, from the music business to the talent management to producing and being able to work with incredible people is, is you know, is a dream come true. So. And where can people find you on social media or if they want to seek you out? As uh, manager, uh, Mr. Steve Owens on Instagram. I tried to get Meta, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it wouldn't let me have it. <laughs> Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> um, and actually, it's, it's just Steve Owens on on Facebook on it, and Twitter is E Hollywood. Going back to my old radio days. So. Oh, great! Well, thank you so much for taking the time. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So here we are, and tell us your name. Anna Fishbein. And tell us the name of your amazing movie. Galaxy 360, A Woman's Playground. Yeah, and this is the premiere at the festival. We're so excited. Yes, I'm really excited. This is a, you know, not a full premiere yet. This is a private screening, but I'm very excited to have this movie be up on the big screen and have all these people see it. Yeah. And so the first thing I have to ask you before we even talk about the movie is tell us about your outfit. It is amazing. It's the future. <laughs> so the movie takes place in 2195, and I wanted to be exactly what I imagined 2195 to be. Bright, shiny, and sexy. <laughs> so you're actually a designer on top of a filmmaker and actress. <laughs> well, you know, I don't want to call myself officially a designer, but I did design, I, I did I did all the art design for the film and the actors are all wearing futuristic outfits that are holographic, just like mine. Um, and so I wanted to honor the film and to be in a holographic, futuristic sort of spacesuit. <laughs> well, it's beautiful. You may be starting a trend. I hope so. Better, I, I hope so. <laughs> you better get your dot com going. People may be reaching out to you. Oh, good, good. I hope everybody wears crazy things, I, you know, that, in the future. Yeah, it's actually really beautiful. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about the movie and what was your inspiration for this movie? So the movie is called Galaxy 360, A Woman's Playground, and it takes place in 2195. It's where women rule the world, men dream of getting married, and it takes place over a male beauty pageant. And so we honor male looks, and women get to judge, and they get to be CEOs and uh, presidents, and they get to run the world. And men worry about how to be thinner, hotter, cuter, younger <laughs> and uh, all the men dream of having a girlfriend or a wife who will actually commit to them wow <laughs> so. that, that is a role reversal a little bit it uh, is although that i think is starting now so is so it <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm, I'm hoping that's not true yeah so so tell us also um what what message are you trying to give with this film um so i'm trying to get people to experience what it's like to live in an upside down world. And I think it is the best way. It's through humor, it's very funny. Uh, we have a, a lot of uh, really funny moments in the movie. Um, you know, we have commercials for men, you know, how to hydrate their skin and how to get their nipples more perky. And so, you know, we, we try to get them to feel what it's like to be us, to be constantly told what to do, how to look prettier, how to look hotter, how to look sexier. And so when, when you get to watch on screen, men worrying about those issues, you kind of think, oh, that's, ha. Huh. Right. <laughs> you kind of think, ha. Huh. <laughs> right, right. No, that's really, really, and you're doing it through humor, which is great. And I'm doing it through humor, yeah. And it, it, it you know, I try to be, I hope, I hope people enjoy it. It's, it's meant to be fun. Oh. And yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm so excited. I can hardly wait to see it. So, and also tell us, are you working on any other projects right now? This, I think, was a handful. This was a handful. I, <laughs> I've been, uh, you know, sleepless. Uh, you know, I, I was saying to someone earlier today that I'm both the star of this movie, but I'm also the filmmaker and I'm down in the trenches editing this movie. And now I learned during COVID, I ended up learning um, Adobe Premiere and FX and ended up doing a lot of the effects myself. And so, which is generally a male dominated profession. Like if you look at FX, um, it's mostly men who do it and they do it for futuristic films. 
And because it's my futuristic film, and because I'm a woman, my movie is all in pink and purple. <laughs> and, and it's what I wanted my effects future to be like. And I thought to myself, you know, how cool it is when a woman puts her fingers into the future. Like, it looks really different. My future is not drab. You know? yeah. <laughs> and yeah. it's not scary. It's just bright and shiny. And so I, I was thinking about that, how, how cool it is to kind of take on the male professions and to share with them this space. Oh, yeah. So. No, I absolutely love that. And what a positive message. Yeah. So tell us where we can find more information about the movie. Um, Galaxy 360 movie on Instagram, Galaxy 360 movie on Facebook. Uh, galaxy360.com and Anna Fishbein official Anna Fishbein on Instagram, Facebook and you know the whole social media. Well thank you so much. Lots of people coming in and we're excited to see the movie. Okay thank you. Thank you Jackie. Thank you. Thank you.